you're interested in the build I used in this video, you can find that in the end of the video. If not, you can always find it earlier on patreon.com slash wits. So, first things first. Uh, your lunch box, or your ammo box, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you'll throw it over here and fly the pillar. Meta units cannot reach it, and most likely enemies won't shoot at it as it's blocked by the pillar. And in your flame turret, you want to throw it right here. And pretty much during the whole resistance run, you'll be staying by this cover right here. Uh, this is pretty much the spot you'll be farming the whole time. And when you're going to expect enemies coming from, is running from here. And the turret by there will keep the meta units away. So every time you hear your turret doing something, uh, you'll just kill those enemies. And that's pretty much it. So at the end of every round, you probably do want to get rid of your ammo box, as the cooldown takes quite a bit to get back. As you saw there, the melee unit was being burned by the turret and also gave me an indication for that I knew he was there. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to be putting enough points into the door, but not opening it yet. So once I do have to go outside, uh, it won't take too long to open the door. Alright, so this is the first farming round. What you'll be doing pretty much is to stay here by the counter until it's about 30 or 40 seconds left. Uh, depending on the distance of the scanning area, uh, you'll pretty much go by the how much time you've got left. Uh, the further away it is, the more time you're going to leave. Uh, just to be safe, uh, probably just wait until 50 seconds. If it's a one that's really, really far away, run over to it. And once the scanning station has like 10 seconds, like right now it's 175 meters, so this is the furthest away as it can be. So what I'll do is I'll run over to it when 50 seconds hits, but I'll only go into the scanning area once it's 10 seconds left, as it doesn't matter when you go onto it, because it will take 30 seconds to scan it, but uh, if you go on it while you have 10 seconds left, it will give you 20 seconds extra to kill mobs around it. So it gives you overtime, pretty much. Alright, so that's about 45 seconds, so I'll just start going over there now. Yeah, so as you can see, it left me a good about 10 seconds left, as I left it about 45 seconds to get it over here. And also make sure you just do not leave the uh, scanning area.
Also, do not worry about picking up your shade tech. Uh, you'll be doing that by wave eight, pretty much. It's a huge waste of time just going around and picking up the shade tech when it's not when it's not wave eight. But so yeah, you just run all the way back to the same room and pretty much during the boss wave, you'll be farming this as well. Uh, I'll try to explain as best as I can the. Uh, different bosses of how you would try and cheat to doodle them like this this round is very fairly easy just depending on which boss you get uh, hopefully we won't get any cleaner bosses with flamers and this fucking shield dude uh, this shield this shield dude right here is the worst possible boss you can have like 100% like this boss you do not want it also has the worst type of enemies during the whole round as well. Luckily, the boss is at a spot. He he is not EMPing us at all, which I'm actually quite surprised. Usually, what he does is just keeps EMPing and then uh, just uh, shooting with his LMG to stagger you. Right, so if there are enemies outside, you can go back here, and hopefully the enemies will be baited to get over here, from outside. Right, so now that we've got 30 seconds left, we do want to concentrate on killing him. He is very, very annoying to kill, so our best bet will be tossing a shock grenade to shock him. And right here where Nimble comes in. And as you can see, he heals quite a bit. Right, so this round is going to be pretty much the most important round. Hopefully you will kill as, any, uh, as many possible enemies as you can and pretty much this round as well we'll be going to buy the box uh, usually you'll get three boxes opened but if you get lucky you might get a fourth one but if you don't get a fourth one don't worry uh, this build is very capable of doing wave 9 the contamination round which a lot of people have issues with because they don't have enough damage or they don't have enough sustain to actually live through it but this build is very capable of uh, doing it But yeah, now our scanning objective is on the second, uh, second furthest away, so I think we'll go there by 40 seconds, yeah. Alright, so I'm swapping to my determined weapon. If there are shotgunners after you, just make sure you kill them. 
Uh, don't worry, using your medkits. Oh my, seems like I've ported a lot. Hopefully I don't fuck this up! That was a one second clutch right there, that usually happens. <laughs> So yeah, pretty much on this uh, scanning area, you want to be taking cover by this box here. Uh, there's going to be a lot of enemies coming from behind, so... Also, a little nice little tip that not a lot of people use is the minimap. It pretty much always indicates you where enemies are coming from. Like, especially I can see ev all the time all the directions where the enemies are trying to shoot me from. Uh, very, very nice information. Right, so now what we'll do, we'll just leave one enemy alive. Hopefully, it's a medic. Yes, it is. All right. And then you just go around and pick everything up, so just walk all the way back, uh, pick everything up you see, and then just come back, and we'll go over to the garage with the rewards box and see how many we get. Right, so what I usually do here is just I'll just leave a flamethrower on the floor, which will keep the uh, NPCs busy, so they don't really shoot me in the back. But yeah, we'll just open this door right here. And it's going to be this box right here you'll be opening. Well, usually... Oh yeah, right, my flame turret is not close enough. Well, uh, you should probably leave the flame turret a little bit closer than that. But um, pretty much we're here where Nimble comes in as well. Pretty useful. It's pretty much a little bit of utility. So yeah, it seems like we can open it four times by wave eight, which is actually quite perfect. Uh, you sometimes might get three, but sometimes you get four as well, depending on how many enemies you kill and pretty much depending on the rounds, how well they go. So now you just want to kill this enemy right here. Uh, usually, you do not want to go up to wave 10, but I'm going to show you how capable this build is to going through wave nine and 10. So we're going to go for that. Uh, for the wave 9, you probably want to camp up here. What you pretty much do is slap your launch box into these trash in there. And then you toss your flame turret down there. Right, so that was a pretty easy wave 9. And for wave 10, you could choose to keep farming uh, within the first room, but what I'll do, I'll just kill the boss as quickly as possible, get the cash out of it, and rip afterwards. But doing this method uh, up to wave 10, uh, while farming the boss round, uh, you will get about 5 to 6 boxes. Instead of 4, so it can be worth it, yes. Right, and there we go. That is pretty much how the easiest possible and the best possible resistance run is done. It's quite easy, I'm not gonna lie. The first room you'll be camping out, the enemies are pretty much 
throw themselves at you and just go out in the open and you can just shoot them very very easily. Uh, the build I used was this one which I showcased in my build video, which is my very first one, so hopefully you all enjoyed it. But yeah, uh, I pretty much stream on Twitch every day, uh, twitch.tv slash numroth. Uh, what I'm focusing on streaming is Division mainly, and I'm pretty much there to help the new and returning players, and yeah. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do like my content and want to support financially, you can check out my Patreon. And if that's not enough, you can find me streaming daily on twitch.tv slash wids. Have a nice day.